Yophalim Jubilees 45. And Yasharael went into the country of Mitzrayim, into the land of Goshen, on the new moon of the fourth month, in the second year of the third week of the forty-fifth Jubilee. And Yosef, rather, and Yosef went to meet his father, Yaakov, to the land of Goshen, and he fell on his father's neck and wept. And Yasharael said unto Yosef, Now let me die since I have seen you, and now may Yahuwah Elohim of Yasharael be blessed, the Elohim of Avraham and the Elohim of Yitzhak, who has not withheld his mercy and his grace from his servant Yaakov. It is enough for me that I have seen your face while I am yet alive. Yea, true is the vision which I saw at Beatel. Blessed be Yahuwah Elohai forever and ever, and blessed be his name. And Yosef and his brothers ate bread before their father and drank wine, and Yaakov rejoiced with exceeding great joy because he saw Yosef eating with his brothers and drinking before him, and he blessed the Creator of all things who had preserved him and had preserved for him his twelve sons. And Yosef had given to his father and to his brothers as a gift the right of dwelling in the land of Goshen and in Ra'amek and all the region round about which he ruled over before Pharaoh. And Yashar'el and his sons dwelt in the land of Goshen, the best part of the land of Mitzrayim. And Yashar'el was one hundred and thirty years old when he came into the Mitz, rather, when he came into Mitzrayim. And Yosef nourished his father and his brethren, and also their possessions with bread, as much as sufficed them for the seven years of the famine. And the land of Mitzrayim suffered by reason of the famine, and Yosef acquired all the land of Mitzrayim for Pharaoh in return for food, and he got rather and he got possession of the people and their cattle and everything for Pharaoh. And the years of the famine were accomplished, and Yosef gave to the people in the land seed and food that they might sow the land in the eighth year. For the river had overflowed all the land of Mitzrayim. For in the seven years of the famine it had not overflowed and had irrigated only a, flu, uh, rather, only a few places on the banks of the river. But, not, rather, but now it overflowed, and the Mitzrayim sowed the land, and it bore much grain that year. And this was the first year of the fourth week of the forty-fourth Jubilee. And Yosef took of the grain of the harvest, the fifth part for the king, and left four parts for them, for food and for seed. And Yosef made it an ordinance for the land of Mitzrayim until this day. And Yashara'el lived in the land of Mitzrayim seventeen years. And all the days which he lived were three jubilees, one hundred and forty-seven years, and he died in the fourth year of the fifth week on the forty-fifth jubilee. And Yashara'el blessed his sons before he died and told them everything that would befall them in the land of Mitzrayim. And he made known to them what would come upon them in the last days, and blessed them and gave to Yosef two portions of the land. And he slept with his fathers, and he was buried in the double cave in the land of Canaan, near Avraham, his father, in the grave which he dug for himself in the double cave in the land of Chevron. And he gave all his seraphim rather, Sepharim, and the Sepharim of his fathers to Levi, his son, that he might guard them 
and renew them for his children until this day.